Go this way. Stop. Let's see what happens. Let's see they can do it in a few minutes. So the wrecking ball is going to go into the building. It won't go down without a fight. Here it goes, James. <laughs> Slowly but surely. This is going to take all day. But if you know this story. We're going to be here for a minute. That's not a surprise. Perfect. It's just truly amazing that after all the explosives, it still didn't go down. Crews tried to demolish this building last Sunday. Watch, I promise you won't regret being here. But when the stairwell survived the blast, this old office became the new leaning tower of Dallas. And it does look like artwork, you know, it really does. Now eight days later. Knock, knock. <laughs> Crews took another swing at it. Bang! Actually, Hit it. they took several hundred swings at it. Get that thing going here and just wham it, man. For eight hours Monday, a 6,000 pound wrecking ball chipped away at this tenacious tower. That's a good one. Ooh. It's still standing. It's a little slow. That's what I'm saying. Get on this side. Eventually, this land will be home to a major development. This is a high profile location uh, that will give any tenant a strong presence in the market. Artemio De La Vega is in charge of a 5 million square foot project, partially residential, retail, restaurants, office space, and more. We're blessed that we can design a project around everything and anything that makes people feel happy. His construction will take time, about three years to complete. This is batting practice or what? This demolition is taking time too. You must be getting paid by the hour. It's been here much longer than expected. <laughs> right? Yeah. A week later, <sighs> the leaning tower is hanging on. Even though it doesn't really seem like it's coming down, it's coming down slowly. In Dallas. I think this is going to take all day. I'm Alex Rosier.